Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and thanks for stopping in. So for today's video, I have two great subscription boxes to share with you as well as a gadget that I was sent in PR. I cannot wait to share it with you and kind of play with it because it looks super cool. This video is going to be a little bit more chit chatty. Uh, probably the next couple of videos are going to be a little bit longer and chit chatty. I usually like to get in, unbox something and get out because that's the way I like to watch you too. Um, but for today, I'm going to be a little more chit chatty. And then the next two videos, unless a box comes in that I'm not expecting, will not be unboxings. They will be just a little bit different type of videos, which hopefully you will like. I did want to say thank you if you watched Saturday's video for all of the outpouring of love and support that you guys sent me. I cannot tell you from the bottom of my heart how thankful I am to each and every one of you. If you didn't see that video, I will post it down below. And hint, that video actually has four giveaways in it. So you might want to go over there and watch it. Um, I did lower these pictures, which I said I was gonna, uh, or I was thinking about doing. Um, I think they look a little crooked. They're not though. I got the camera angled back and up just a little bit so you can see them. When I did this office, I wanted it to be light and bright. I wanted it to be girly and a little bit modern. And I think these actually did it. This was a pack of two um, they came in a set uh, from Home Goods for $69. So there you go. Um, I might change them up as, you know, the year comes to a close next year. <laughs> but that's what's so great about this small wall is I can do lots of different things with it. Um, I did take the last four days off. On Saturday, I was just exhausted. I was mentally, physically, emotionally just drained. I Felt like I was starting to get sick and so I stayed in the bed all day Saturday. I watched movies and hung out. And then Sunday I looked at my husband and said, I'm not getting out of bed today either. <laughs> I ordered food, he brought it to me. And then Monday I kind of took it easy. I did stuff around the house, laundry and stuff. And then yesterday I kind of got back into it. Did a lot of stuff behind the scenes with YouTube and Instagram. And today I woke up a new woman. I feel like I've got more pep in my step, more energy. Put some lashes on y'all. They might not be perfect because I'm still trying to master them, <laughs> but I'm excited. So you're going to continue to see some changes around the channel, maybe in this room. My initial thought was I wanted you guys to be able to see the desk and see the boxes. It's hard to get it all on the screen, but I'm going to keep working on it. I can't do everything that I want to do right away because money is a little tight. My kid left for boarding school and he took all my money <laughs> and my computer died. Um, I'd like to upgrade well, I have a camera, I don't need to upgrade. I'd like to go ahead and start filming with my bigger camera, but I can't do that until my computer is out of the shop. It's $850 to get it fixed. I know, I could buy a brand new computer, but I have a really nice Apple MacBook Pro. It's four years old, and um, unfortunately, I didn't have Apple Care on it. I didn't know that I didn't, but apparently I didn't, um, and it just died, and I'm gonna need some new parts for it, but, they're going to put the new parts in. And it's going to last me another four or five years. So I figured I would just stick with what I know. So I'm waiting for that to come in. So anyway, you will still see changes on my background just a little bit. Hopefully over the next couple of months, just stick with me. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. And if you're stopping by for the first time, let me know where you're from. That lets me know you're new so I can welcome you personally in the comments. All right, so the first thing that I got was a gadget item in PR. Now I get offered a lot of stuff, probably five or six things a day, and I turn... 99% of them down. I just don't think they're a good fit. I don't think the quality's there, whatever the reason. But this thing, this had my curiosity. It is by Effie, which is a nice brand of vacuum cleaners. They actually have those little like robot vacuum cleaners. I've always wanted one of those, but I haven't ever been brave enough to shell out the money. Again, probably can't do that because boarding school and the boy who has all my money. Anyway, so they offered to send me this Effie handheld vacuum cleaner y'all this thing is legit i had something similar to this and not to say the same thing three times but the boy took it to his dorm room and so i was happy to get another one this is the mini motorized h30 home vac came in this huge box this thing is powerful you guys it's a handheld vacuum cleaner it has a couple attachments this one is like more pet or like on your stairs this would be great. Um, this one, I'm thinking for your car, if you wanna get in between the seats of your car. Look, I'm a girl who likes to eat in her car. I know a lot of people in my life are like, I don't eat in my car, I don't let my kids eat in my car. I'm not that person. So there's sometimes fries or stuff 
<laughs> um, so this will get in between your car um, seats or under the seats. Then this guy, what does this do? Oh yeah, it pulls forward. So like in your keyboard or in your drawers, you know how sometimes you, especially in the kitchen, your utensil drawers will get like crumbs in them. This would be perfect to clean out your utensil drawer. So it comes with this guy. And then it also came with this, which I wasn't sure what it was. It's got a brush on one side and then it's got a blade. This is brilliant. Why do vacuums, maybe they do and I've never had a nice vacuum or a nice enough one to get one of these but I've never seen this in a vacuum before. You know how you will use the vacuum, like the footer of your vacuum, but sometimes like you'll suck up a ribbon or a string or something and it kind of hoses up the little nozzle in here. This actually just cuts it. So you're able to get it out really quickly because a lot of times you have to pull and pull and pull and pull and it's a big pain or if you have any kinds of hairs or anything. Isn't that a cool tool? That's very well thought of. Have you guys seen this before? Or do I just live under a rock? It could be that I live under a rock. And then it comes with a charging base and it came with screws. I think I left the screws in the box because I'm not going to um, mount this, but you can mount this. I think I'm just gonna make this vacuum for in here because when I open boxes, there's a lot of shredded paper and little bits of paper that I'm cutting to open things. So a lot of trash that occurs, little bits and bobs. So this is gonna actually be perfect for here under my desk. Um, but it has the handheld charger and you can either charge it this way or it's got a battery that pops out. You can just charge the battery if you want to, which I thought was really cool too. And it just pops right in. It does tell you when you turn it on how much charge it has. Now I've never, I've had a handheld that was charged, but that particular, um, vacuum that I had did not tell me how much charge so it would just die I didn't know if I had five minutes ten minutes two minutes I never knew so this one shows all the lights and y'all I just turned this on it's going to be a little loud so just hang on if you have earphones you might want to just turn down your volume a little bit so you push this button you see let me show you Is that how crazy it picked up this box? And that I don't even think is the highest setting. It's got a lot of power through it. There's an instruction manual that comes with it and you can actually take some of these apart, wash it and then dry it in the sun they say and then put it all back together. I'm sure it's filter. It's got some weight to it though. This is a nice little guy. I don't know. So Effie gave me a 15% off coupon, which I will link below in case you're interested. That will be a referral link. Um, and I'll tell you how I like this, or if I don't, just remind me in the comments if you're interested, and I will share in a couple of months what I think about it, but I think it's made really well. I think the um, little attachments are really great. The base actually has places to store your attachments, so I think that's really nice too. I think I did it backwards. Nope. There. They attach just like that. Isn't that nice? So you can set this in your utility room or like I said, I have a closet right here with the shelf. I'm just gonna leave it plugged in here on the shelf or wherever you want. But I'm thinking car cleanup. There's little things where you don't wanna pull out the entire vacuum and clean. This will work for you. All right, so thank you to Effie for sending that. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the boxes. The first one I have is my butterfly box for January 2021. My mom actually got a subscription to this for Christmas, a three month subscription, and she is loving it. So this is a lifestyle Christian subscription box. Every month it's $34.99 and you're gonna get four to six items. So things like candles or soaps or lotions, maybe jewelry, or maybe a notebooks, devotionals, maybe a home decor item with scripture on it. It's done really, really well. They do send this box to me for review, so I'm able to share it with you. And this month they gave me a really cool code. It is Georgia Sunshine BOGO. So if you order this box for the first time, you're gonna be able to get this box and then they're gonna send you a surprise box totally free. So two boxes kind of for the price of one this time. So I'll leave that link down below as well as the code. And that is a referral link, just FYI. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. They also use small Christian businesses um, to find things for this box, which I like too. Okay, it's nice and bright. See the hot pink shred, which is why I need the vacuum in here. 
for January. It says, God is good is the theme. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Be reminded this month that God is good. And if you put your faith and trust in him, he promises to care for you. All right. So the first thing I see is nice and bright. This is a little keychain. It says, let your light shine. And this has like a more like a carabiner style. I love this. So if you wanted to just clip it on your diaper bag or book bag or shoulder bag or just place it on your keys, it's easy to get on and off. And this is one of those that you can put like your hand sanitizer or your lip balm in. I had one of these and it just got so grungy and dirty. I had to throw it away. So I'm so happy to have another one. It says that this is by Mary Square. It says, keep your hand sanitizer. Oh, mask. Yeah, that's big enough where you could put a mask down in there or your lip balm close at hand with this bottle pocket holder with a fun saying and colorful print. These hold your holders are created by Mary Square, whose mission is to empower women to create their journey. Very cool. Love that. That's totally usable. It's light too, although it looks big. You can find that in the bottom of your purse. All right, the next thing we got in here are some, what are these? Truth cards. It says 20 hand-lettered scripture verses to encourage your heart and remind you of God's goodness. Hand-lettered by Crystal Witten and printed on heavy cardstock. These cards are a perfect tool for scripture memory and daily reminders of God's truth. Put them on your mirror, on your car dash, or give them to friends for specific encouragement. So it says we're going to get 20 of these. Oh, these are so cool. Okay, so they are scripture cards. And they're very, most of them are very bright. You could put these in an encouragement card. But if you're trying to learn some more scripture, again, like they said, you could put it in your car, on your mirror. These are cool. I love how bright and fun they are. And you get 20 of these. Okay, so that was the next item. Then we got piece of wood. You know, when Charlie Brown has got the great pumpkin, he says, I got a rock. I got a piece of wood. Let's see what this is. Um, I don't know what this is for. Oh, you know what? I bet it's for this. Yes. So you can um, put your scripture on here and help memorize it. If you wanted to put this on your desk, that's a great idea. Okay. So we got a little holder. The next thing in here, y'all, we got a t-shirt. They do ask that a couple of questions when you sign up for this. And one of them was a t-shirt. I'd forgotten about that. Y'all, it's in like my favorite new color. I love this hot pink. Okay, let's see what it says. It says, God is good all the time. Love it. Really cute. Now I get a large, their t-shirts are a little bit oversized, but that's the way I like them. Isn't that cute? I love it. We got a t-shirt, you guys. How cool. Okay. It says that that is the God is good all the time t-shirt. Aside from its cute design and encouraging statement, this t-shirt is also a great way to be reminded that even on bad days, God is still good. Our circumstances may change, but his character won't. He's forever good, forever faithful, forever merciful. We can therefore trust and put our confidence in him. I love that we got a t-shirt. Love it. Okay. We've got something else big down in the bottom of the box here. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is so me. Oh, this is so me. Okay, I haven't even hardly looked at it and I know it's so me. Okay, this is 100 Days of Bible Promises, a devotional journal. Look how cool it is. It looks kind of scrappy the way they've put it together. Okay, so there's 100 days. It says his grace is sufficient. Here's day one. So you have a little devotional on one side and then you've got either your prayer. I don't know if it gives you a prompt as to what to do every day. No, it gives you a prayer for the day down here. Is that for every page? Yes, I love that. So every day you have a devotional and then you have kind of a prompt for prayer. And then you can either take notes based on what you've read or um, whatever you want. Journal how you're feeling that day. I love the way this is set up. Don't worry. Be still. Nothing is too difficult for God. Cheerful giving. God draws near to you. So something for everything. Wow. 100 days. This is beautiful. Let me hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. I love the way it's set up. Oh, I didn't even realize it had a ribbon in it. 
So there's your um, devotional, there's your prayer prompt, and then you've got a place to journal. That is, isn't it pretty? It's so bright. You could even come through. We talked about gratitude in another video. Maybe put your what you're grateful for every day or something. Isn't that done really well? Okay, it says the 100 Days of Bible Promises Devotional Journal by Shanna Noel. This 100-day devotional journal provides encouraging reflections on different topics that will inspire you. For each day, there is a featured scripture, a devotion, a prayer, and a space for doodling, journaling, writing notes, or any other form of creative expression. Okay, so that was a box. Definitely worth $34.99. We got that huge devotional. We got the beautiful t-shirt. We got the keychain, and we got the scripture cards. I liked it this month. I really, really did. All right. I just love that this t-shirt is pink. All right. The next box that I'm going to share is my authentic books box. Now this is a book subscription box, but it also has lifestyle products inside also. Everything in the box is developed and put in there around your senses. So the book is your site and there's uh, several books that you can choose from all rather new releases and then you get things like smell which is a candle things like taste it could be a cocktail mixer a tea there's even chocolate in the boxes lots of different things so i'll explain but what i love about this box is there's three different tiers there's a 39.99 tier a 49.99 tier and a 59.99 tier now the box that i'm going to show you is the 59.99 tier so a month before your box is going to ship they will actually send you out a survey and they will give you um, your choices of, bo of books. So whether you're like romance or you're more mystery or suspense or more thriller, whatever, there's going to be something probably that's going to fit what you like. Most of the time, I really have trouble <laughs> deciding between two. If you do that, she gives you um, a special discount on a second box if you would, or a second book if you would like to put that in the box, which I think is really great. So um, let me just go over. The $39.99 box is going to have your book, which is your site, your smell, which is your candle. And let me tell you, more than any other box that I get, the candles in here are so powerful and the throw is incredible. Um, they give you a touch item, which they take small business items of self-care, lotion, sugar scrubs, things like that, and put in the box. You have a sound item, which is a playlist. They do a custom playlist based on your book, which I think is really cool. Um, they talk about your heart, which gives 5% back to children's literacy programs. You're going to get a bookmark and you're also going to get a recipe card. And the recipe is something featured from your actual book. The $49.99 book it, or box is going to have one more taste item or one taste item. You're either going to get a cocktail mixer or a tea. You get to pick. And then... Um, one other touch item so one more self-care item like lotion or things like that and then if you get the 59.99 box you're going to get a second taste item so that's where the chocolate becomes involved and the chocolate you guys last month we got a candy bar and it had um what did it happen at coffee i don't even drink coffee and donut bites in it y'all that candy bar <laughs> I'm still dreaming about that candy bar. I ate it a little bit at a time. It was a really, really big one. So it took me a couple weeks because I was trying to be really, really good. That candy bar was so good. And then you also get another self-care item for that $59.99. So let's go ahead and dive in. I did want to say that I am currently reading the book right here, The Fastest Way to Fall. This is the book that I got last month. I'm actually reviewing books over on my Instagram once a week. I've already posted the first book review and I've saved them to a highlight. Just go to book review if you're, if you're missing any and you'll see the highlight. And so this one, this book review will be up soon and I'm liking it so far. Okay. Let's get into the box. Here we go. That's what it looks like. We open it this month. Ooh, I forget which book I chose. Looks like this. So here is our bookmark. It says, what if what I want is something I can't have? Okay, that is a quote from the book that I got, which is how not to fall in love. I just need romance right now and, and sweet romantic comedy, light hearted books at this time in my life. Okay, so here's your playlist. You just have to go on Spotify. You can pull that up. Here is our book cocktail. It is a strawberry rose and gin tonic. And there is a recipe for how not to fall in love pizza. <laughs> and then we have an author's note. This is exclusive 
um, notes from the author about her book. A lot of times the books have a plate like this. I didn't even realize this when I opened it until a couple days ago. Um, and this has a signed plate from the author, which is cool. Okay, it says packed with love. Oh, this smells good. This box always smells good. So this is what it looks like. It looks like this time, I get this in PR. She does send this to me for review, so I'm able to share it with you. And I do have a discount code, which I'll link down below. So I don't customize my box except for the book. She decides what I get. And last month I got the best tea. That tea was so good, but I really, really like her cocktail mixers too. So let's see which one I got. Sometimes I don't use them for cocktails because I'm not a big drinker, but I will just add them to other fun drinks. You can look up non-alcoholic recipes. This is a City Rose Tonic. It's Portland Syrup Beverage Concentrate. Oh, let's read about that guy. That looks fancy, doesn't it? It says, this authentically brewed whole organic tonic made with genuine chinchonga bark and rose petals features a delicate floral layer. Okay, so that was our tonic this time, or you could have received tea. Here's the candle. I think this is what smells so good, y'all. I'm telling you. Their candles are no joke. Probably my favorite of any I get in any subscription box are their candles. So this one says, Miss Me. This is a summer love candle. So I wonder if the book takes place in the summer. A lot of the items in here are taken directly from the book. And she always puts little shells or petals or rocks or something fun on the top of her candles. Oh, ooh. ooh what is this? This smells good summer love it's light and girly oh it's nice okay what is that one that is the miss me is a soy based candle with notes of gardenia which i typically would never like it's just a strong floral scent but it has white currant in it so that must cut some of the floral that's a nice candle okay the next thing in here i got is the girl crush whipped sugar scrub I'm about to do an empties video later in the week and you're gonna see that I have an obsession for whipped sugar scrubs. <laughs> Love. And this is actually made in small batches and she's got the number on it, the small business that made it. It's Girl Crush. Dive into your next sweet romance and perhaps leave with your next girl crush, okay? The next thing in here is called Celebrate. I wonder if there is a celebration in the book. Look at the packaging on that, whatever it is. This is a pomegranate and eucalyptus and grapefruit. I can't tell what this is. Oh, it says celebrate ivory soap. Celebrate the people you love with eucalyptus and pomegranate. Our celebrate bar nourishes your skin to ensure an ultimate moisturizing experience. I wonder if ivory soap is a nod to the box and to the book too. It's so interesting. Ooh, it's pretty. Mmm, that's nice. It's a nice, big, huge bar of soap. Oh, it says celebrate on it. And that smells good. This would be great if you've got like a potting shed where you wash your hands when you come in from gardening. All right, the next thing in here is, oh my goodness, re rejuvenating snail mask. Does this have snail slime in it? Oh. Uh -uh. Let's see. It says use a rayon sheet using a rayon sheet material. This mask contains amazing and beneficial ingredients to hydrate and soothe your skin. So it feels rejuvenated. Does it have snail slime in it? Snail secretion filtrate. Not so sure about this one. I'll have to let you know about that one. Okay, there's still more in here. Oh my goodness, look at the chocolate this time. Happy, grumpy, tired, and blah. <laughs> so this isn't the chocolate company that she usually uses. This is by Moody Bars. It says, a variety chocolate pack. We've all had our days of feeling happy, then blah. Enjoy a treat, no matter the mood. So this one's a milk chocolate, dark chocolate, Dark chocolate espresso and caramel filled. Mmm. That's fun. Okay. And then last but not least is the book, How Not to Fall in Love. I'll read the back of it. She does put a little thing in here so you can 
put your authentic books label on it if you want. And then yeah, this one does have the signed author's book plate in it. And it says Harper Woods in her mom, Harper works in her mom's wedding shop, altering dresses for petulant and picky brides who are more focused on hemlines than love. After years of watching squabble, squabbles break out over wedding plans, Harper thinks romance is a marketing tool, nothing more. Her best friend Theo is her opposite. One date and he's already dreaming of happily ever afters. He also plays the accordion, <laughs> makes chain mail for Wren Festers hangs out in a windmill shaped treehouse, cries over rom-coms and takes his word of the day calendar very seriously. When Theo's shocked to find himself nursing his umpteenth heartbreak, Harper offers to teach him how not to fall in love. Theo agrees to the lessons as long as Harper proves she can date without falling in love. Um, as the lesson progresses and Theo takes them to heart, Harper has a harder time upholding her end of the bargain. She's also checking out her window to see if Theo's home from his latest date yet. And even watching rom-coms, she's even watching rom-coms. If she confesses her feelings, she'll undermine everything she's taught him. Or was he the one teaching her? Doesn't that sound good? Love. All right. So that was my box. I love that one too. This one never Ever disappoints it's like all the self-care things that I love in one box a candle some chocolate alcohol or tea a nice book you can get into the bath and just go to town I'm not so sure about the snail mail the snail secretion mask but we're gonna try it and I'll have to let you know what I think I hope you enjoyed this video again don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon for another video guys bye bye